Well, the day has finally arrived. Developer of highly polished free-to-play titles Nimblebit have released their latest game, and that game is Nimble Quest. It's based on the mechanic of traveling around an arena making 90 degree turns, eating objects to grow, not running into things, and surviving as long as you can. This type of game can be traced back to the late 1970s and came into mainstream popularity when Nokia started preloading its mobile telephones with their version called Snake in 1998. Today's version is vastly different, and while looking immensely better with fluid animation, bright colorful graphics and touchscreen controls, the formula that made the early versions so much fun remains solidly intact. Instead of controlling an individual unit that grows, Nimble Quest has you leading up to 15 adventurers, all lifted nicely from a fantasy setting. You've got warriors and rogues who do stabby slashy damage at close range, you've got mages and wizards who do flamey frosty damage from far away, and even little dudes that use technology like guns and bombs for all that shooty, explodey stuff. You start the game as a lone combatant, and you'll need to do your best to fight enemies, collect loot, and pick up your buddies along the way. Each team member you collect will follow your path precisely and will attack any bad guys that come into their range. The end result, if you're skilled enough, is a train of 15 powerful allies capable of incredible destruction. All of this can still come crashing down if you're not paying attention, as running into anything can take out your heroes, and if your leader is taken out, it's instant game over. Once unlocked, characters will pop up throughout the levels at random. You don't get to choose in which order they appear. You can, however, select which character you'd like to lead your team. This choice can change gameplay in a number of ways. Do you lead with a ranged character to pick off enemies from a distance? Do you start with a heavily armoured melee character? The choice is entirely up to you. The benefit of sticking with a particular hero is that they will level up organically and you won't need to pay for their upgrade. On the other hand, you may want to spread the love and give each of your heroes a shot at fame. The beautiful thing about leveling up is that any additional strength or powers they obtain remains with them, even if they're not the team leader. The ultimate goal, of course, is to have numerous higher level heroes that allow you to progress further. As the team members gain levels, they also change their appearance to represent their newfound power. Nimble Quest is cute, sharp, and cartoony, which is a surprising departure from Nimblebit's art style staple, pixel art. The game can be played in both portrait and landscape mode, and the animation is fast and smooth as characters worm their way throughout the levels. As there's no story to the game, Nimble Quest is essentially a high score chaser, and thanks to leaderboards provided by Game Center, this is a fun and social experience. On that front, Nimblebit has included an arena mode where players can come together and form a guild. These teams work towards challenging other guilds on the high score table. Each entry in this mode will cost you one coin to enter, the game's secondary currency, and is a single endless level containing stronger, more challenging enemies. If you're familiar with Nimblebit's other game releases, then you'll probably come to expect a fair amount of grinding. Fortunately, Nimble Quest doesn't have any time delay mechanics and you can keep playing to your heart's content. Of course, there is plenty of in-app purchase options available for those that want to get ahead of the curve. Now, there seems to be a little bit of controversy surrounding the release of Nimble Quest. In case you haven't already heard, Nimble Quest bears more than a passing resemblance to another game that was released last year. The title in question is Call of Snakes from Magic Cube. In fact, the Marsh Brothers have stated that they got a lot of inspiration from Call of Snakes. Now, in and of itself, this statement is fairly benign, as quote-unquote inspiration is nothing new to the App Store. Every few months, there's a fairly major story about a clone appearing, and in a lot of cases, doing better than the original title. What makes this case interesting is the fact that Nimblebit themselves fell victim to cloning early in 2012. Zynga, a major player in the social gaming world, took inspiration from Nimblebit's tiny tower and created Dream Heights. When this happened, Nimblebit had a large portion of the mobile and independent community rushing to their defense after an open letter they wrote to Zynga went viral. Regardless of your stance on the matter, it'll certainly be interesting to see how this one plays out. As far as this game goes though, it's an incredibly competent snake slash action slash RPG slash shooter. For a free to play title, it's quite generous with its primary currency. If you've got a little bit of patience, you'll get to see pretty much all of the game without having to spend any real world cash. Nimble Quest is incredibly polished, ultra addictive, and best of all, it's free. Definitely give this one a shot. You've got nothing to lose. Thanks for joining me for today's review. Click the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest mobile gaming news. This has been Alex for GameMob, that's www.gamemob.com.